And welcome back, folks. I don't know if it's going to play a role, but I definitely don't want the hints on. Uh, the tour tutorials still keep on, just in case, but I, well, I'd like to keep the hints off. And we're back into it. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen him before. Must be new in the force. It's a little cold. Excuse me, officer? This is a crime scene, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to please step back unless you have official business here. I'm a detective here. Excuse me, officer? This is a crime scene, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to please step back unless you have official business here. Uh... Alright. Do I have... Yeah, I do have my badge. Here. Excuse me, ma'am, this is a crime scene? I don't give you Special Agent Reed, this is Special Agent McCoy, FBI. We're here on official business. Oops. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. You can go in, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> you must be new. You're far too polite. Officer Jonathan Duffer. Yes, I just recently graduated from the Academy. It's an honor to serve the city. Ah, fresh blood. Doesn't that make you all warm and tingly inside? No, but I'm sure this crime scene will. <laughs> what exactly happened in there? I hear they found a body hanging. Murder, apparently. I don't know much else. Like I said, I just started at the force, so they have me standing guard. You're gonna have to talk to your people inside. I don't know why the FBI was called in. <laughs> You're not the only one wondering. Thank you, officer. Who found the body? A bum found the body, but uh, he didn't see anything. Who interrogated him? I heard it was Director Davies herself. Uh, you work for her, don't you? Must be quite an honor. She's something, all right. <laughs> Any other witnesses? Nobody heard or saw anything from what I've heard. Ain't this our lucky day? All right, folks, I Thank you, officer. do also want to- No problem, Agent, and I'm sorry again. Never apologize for doing your job, kiddo. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I, I mean, no, no, sir. I do want an opinion from people. A lot of times in point-and-click games like this, it is easy to get stuck for a while. Um, what I've done in the past is I've kind of cut out the parts where I'm trying to figure it out and then let you guys come back in once I have figured it out. Uh, or, if you guys would like, I can show some videos of me just trying to solve everything and give you all of it. Note that there will be videos in that case that may be, you know, 20-30 minutes long with no progress whatsoever. That's up to you guys. I can also just put like a disclaimer on those videos. Hey, stuck here, this is my thought process. I know a lot of people enjoy seeing that. Cool. What's up, peeps? It's an all-agents night. I'm not particularly looking forward to the who's got the biggest gun conversation, though. I do. I'll let John socialize. I'll go do some work. The hell is that supposed to mean? I said that out loud? Oops. The Scarlet Furies. Hey, the Scarlet oh. Furies are playing. I can't miss that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's a uh, realized band. If I... Or if I, I think that that's where the... Just a little shout out. I, I, I believe I could be wrong. I probably am now, but. Too much information to keep in my horrible memory brain. Finally, you get your ass down here. Oh, God. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. Look around and then come talk to me. And, John, please wipe your mouth. I can smell that egg sandwich all the way over here. Hey, it's a good sandwich. Ain't it? What do you say, Galaga? Sure, if you want to drop dead from a heart attack. <laughs> hey man, I'll back you up. They don't know what they're missing. Alright. So what do we got here? We got the photographer? The painting looks fresh. Oh. It was painting, actually. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. I was actually looking for the photographer, but let's take a look at the victim body. Poor bastard. Brutal. Suicide? Agent, if it was suicide, I wouldn't be here at 2.30 in the morning. 
Some people don't have any sense of humor around here. I left it in my bed when I got Davies's call. DPCs. All right. Can we cog it? Oh, there's a lot to cog here. table and then was he hauled up? What does this graffiti have to do? Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Okay, so that one I can't get to yet. Not the victim itself. Himself. Don't mean to use you as an it, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. <gasps> Oh, he was alive. Well, conscious when he... That, that's... <sighs> it's happening again. This is getting out of control. I haven't been able to get a grasp on it lately. Hmm. Don't touch it. You have to file the crime scene. Don't touch it. Something, something, Dad. Uh, oh, it's starting to hurt. Ever since Scott died, it's slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Dr. Gallagher is one of the best at what she does. She also has a stick up her ass about it. Galligan? Reed. What do we have here? White male, mid-40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging? No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English? Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. Any signs of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped, but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. Till exhaustion kicks. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes, oh. maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. He also defecated. It's another sign of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davies pinned it on my sandwich. <sighs> Lovely as ever, John. What else we got? What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. And bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. <laughs> when did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. 
Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. That type of lady. I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. I'd like to go take a Something quick... fell down there. Yeah, can I get a quick look-see poo with that? Hey, John, any idea what this is? No clue. Ask Terrence. Is that who you are, buddy? Even my pal and tech guru Terrence Bowlby is here. Davies must be really interested in this case. But why? Hey, buddy. How's it going? The Erica herself. I'm trying to finish quickly so I can go get some freaking sleep. I'm a tech geek. I shouldn't be doing all this crap. Where's your team? Uh, there's a lot of shit hitting the department right now, so we're low on manpower. How's it hanging, McCoy? Weird to see the FBI all over this. I don't make the rules, pal. What do you got for us? Have you gotten any prints? <sighs> Nothing. It's super clean. This person knew what they were doing. Been searching around, but I can't even find a partial. How can the guy who did this struggle so much and not leave any traces behind? The guy knows his shit. <laughs> there you go. Any luck identifying our John Doe? Nope. Nothing in the database? Uh, I wish it was that simple. Didn't you look at the body? What about it? Oh, get this. The problem is not that the guy isn't in the database. The problem is that the killer cut the skin off the fingers of our John Doe. All I've been able to find is just blood markings everywhere. Thank you, asshole, for making my life easier. DNA? I'll have to take a look at that tomorrow. So any theories on how the guy was hanged? There are a few marks on the body. They aren't from a struggle with a killer, per se, but my theory is that whoever did this had a hell of a time stringing that big guy up. Drag marks? Exactly. It wasn't easy getting him up there. So we're looking at someone smaller than the victim. Probably an average build? Yeah, that sounds about right. Terrence, did you notice that wall over there? The paint looks fresh. Yeah, I saw that. I'll have to call someone to come here tomorrow and take a closer look. I seriously don't have time for all this work. Have you talked to Davies about the lack of resources? <sighs> she knows this is BS. I heard that. Uh, all good, boss. I, I got it. Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is it evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence! Really, I, I, I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. No, we don't. Reed? McCoy? What's up? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. Uh, we better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. Let's talk to McCoy real quick to see if he's got any other last-minute insight for us. See anything interesting? We better. You know, Davies is going to grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. Oh, give it a shot. Let's see what we got. Oh, there was a ladder there. I probably should have looked at that. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Now, what have you found? How did the victim die? Suffocation. Uh -huh. Who is our John Doe? We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? Average build. The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim, which leads us to believe that the killer is smaller and skinnier than the victim. That's it? That's it. I may point out, however, that Terence is being overworked 
so he's not exactly at the top of his game. When I have questions about how to run my branch, I'll ask you. Anything to add, McCoy? No. Wonderful. Not only are you too late, you're also worthless. Go get some sleep and get your asses to work tomorrow early. I want to see you in my office as soon as you're in, Reed. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Why are we taking this case? Tomorrow. Now get out of here. Erica. Sir? How are you holding up? I'll be fine. Good. Get some rest. I have a bad feeling about this one. Hmm. You called? Erica, I know how much you care about what happened to Scott, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you off the case. Don't do this to me, Davies. I have to. It's been three years. This is bullshit! I'm so close to getting somewhere. No, Erica, you're not. I've seen your reports. You're going in circles. My dad put you up to this? Brian's worried about you. Listen, I understand how much this means to you, but it has to stop. I put my job on the line, letting you take on a case in which you're so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your dad. But it's time to move on, Erica. Even your dad agrees. I can't. You have to, Erica. I'm afraid that's an order. Flashback there. Uh, Are you all right? I just need a minute. What is? My, my visions. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. Do you still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. I'll go tomorrow. Go now. She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. That sounds perfectly normal. Go on. I'll hit your ride to the office. <laughs> Tracking down another killer, maybe the same killer. We got roses on there. Hey, antique shop. You gonna take me there automatically, game? Yes. What am I doing here? <laughs> it's still open? Does Rose ever sleep? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Hello, my dear. I could feel the spirits were active tonight. I knew someone would appear. Yeah, that'd be me. So, does the shop have the identity problem, or is it you? Very observant. What's a pretty girl like yourself doing out at the witching hour? Special Agent Reed. I'm here to ask you some questions about an antique. My favorite subject, Agent. And you can call me Rose, my dear. Let's learn a little bit more about the shop. So, you sell antiques? You do not just sell antiques, my dear. 
I like to see it as a way to preserve these beauties through the generations. But yes, this is an antique shop, among other things. Like what? Reading a crystal ball? If a customer wants to talk to their dear departed mother or father, I am happy to help. That's right. A scam. Do you read the tarot too? <laughs> I make an honest living agent. Nothing wrong with that. Other than extorting people's hard earned money, no. I give people what they want. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Right, my dear? Sure. I wanted to ask you about this. Ah, that is strange. What is? This is only a piece of the toy. Ah, yes, it is a Le Pondu, or at least very similar to one. Precious things. Ah, beautiful. A, a what? Le Pondu. It was a line of toys that had their roots in the French Revolution. It is said that those in high society used them at secret parties. Mysterious, do you not think? And some say they used these toys to scare their children into understanding what justice could do to them if they did not follow the rules. Horrible, is it not? So why would a toy like that appear in a crime scene last night? That is your job. My dear. Do you know anything about voodoo? Could this have come from this shop? I have not sold one in a while, but they are not as uncommon as you may think. Do you know of any other shops that may sell them? Toy shops, other antique stores. I bet they show up in those online auctions too. As I said, they are not all that uncommon. I am sorry, my dear. What else can you tell me about it? The artifact is indeed old, but it has been modified. The wood is very old, and so is the varnish, but the cuts are new. Is this the only piece you found? Yes. So there are more? Well, yes. And I would say these cuts were made to fit into some other piece. Do you carry these? There is one right there. Thanks for the help. Any time, my dear. Now, tell me the real reason why you are here. We may as well. Something's been happening to me. A friend suggested I talk to you about it. Go on. I am listening. I keep having... Visions? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not exactly comfortable. Listen, my dear. You can tell Rose whatever is happening to you. These old bones have seen it all and heard it all. How do you know? Did John McCoy call you? Jean McCoy. Where do I know that name from? Ah, yes. Jean. Another FBI agent. More easygoing. He came here a few years back. Poor soul. He was utterly lost. He loved my coffee. That's an innuendo. And we used to sit at that table over there, talking for hours. I would guess you are the girl he told me about. I wish he'd let me deal with this on my own. Sometimes we do need a push, my dear. And here you are, taking the right steps. When did they start? The visions. I will tell you what. Go and sleep on it. Visit your brother tomorrow. Wait, how do you know? Sleep on it. And if you are ready tomorrow, come back here and I will show you a few things. All right? We'll see. I could stay up driving all night. I could use the time to think, but I'd better get some sleep tonight. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a long day. I agree. Oh, that sound. <laughs> Ready to go. I should see what Davies wanted. Alright, folks. Well, this looks like a pretty good place to stop. So, as always, thanks for watching. Tune the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.